Hi, my name is Darren Joseph from HEJ.TATS. We're the team that seeks to demystify the sometimes confusing world of international TATS. And today we have the honor and the privilege of a conversation with Mr. Nani Suarez. So, can you introduce yourself to those who don't already know who you are? Thank you, Darren. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm Hernani Suarez, a lawyer with residence in Cape Verde. I have around 20 years of experience here in these great islands. I am the former president of the Cape Verdean Bar Association, and my practice is uh, tax, corporates, and telecommunications. How does somebody become eligible? What are the requirements to qualify for it? Because I, I'm familiar with nomad visas across the world. For example, Brazil. This on the surface is very simple, but there's a lot of paperwork that's required to qualify for it, but to a less extent, Spain as well. So could you give us a sense for the kind of documents and the kind of person that would qualify for the visa? Okay. You are referring about eligibility. Right? Uh, you can work, the government tried to, to make it simple, to be eligible for um, the, the Cabo Verde digital nomad visa. Uh, the applicants must uh, be over... Uh, 18 years old, they have to prove uh, their employment or freelance work that allows him to work, uh, to work in remote work. They have to demonstrate uh, sufficient financial means to support themselves during their stay. They have to provide proof of health insurance valid income benefits. And they have to show or not have a criminal report uh, in their certificate. Mm -hmm. And of course, their passport uh, have to at least six months of validity. If the nomad have these conditions, proof of sufficient uh, financial health insurance, he can came to Cabo Verde. Okay. So in terms of the, the proof of sufficient funds, roughly, what is the threshold that they're looking for? Well, in Cape Verde, the lifestyle you, you, with 500,000, you can survive one month with dignity. So normally, you have to show that you have your um, employment and you have to show some amount in your bank account that is sufficient to to live here in Cabo Verde, okay, that's it. So there's no fixed amount, it just needs to be reasonable. There's no defined amount. Okay, exactly. that, that, that's very helpful to know, thank you. Okay. The application process, in Cabo Verde, we have a specific um, uh, online application. The government creates a, a portal that you can uh, access and uh, make your application uh, by internet without papers. We have two websites. There is one specific and other is general that you can access to, okay? Okay, I understand. So everything 100% online, that's helpful. Application fee is around $50. Oh, okay. So definitely reasonable. What's the duration of the visa initially? Is it one year? Normally it's expected for one year. 